everyone, I'm Kathy. Welcome back to Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Today we're making an Asian ramen noodle salad. I don't know about you guys, but my mom used to make this ramen noodle salad all the time when we went to barbecues or picnics. But it was made from those icky little packets that had the flavor inside and they were fried and they have like, I don't know, the kind you eat in college where they're like 30 cents a package. We've moved on much further to better ramen noodles today. I buy these Lotus Foods ramen noodles they're millet and brown rice. I buy them at Costco. They're um, eight grams of protein per cake. They're ready in four minutes, gluten-free and vegan. They're not fried. So like those of you who are like, oh, I can't eat ramen noodles. You can eat ramen noodles. They're fabulous. And they're super cheap. So they're only 130 calories. They only have 1.5 total fat in them and pretty much nothing else. It's, and they're great. So those are the ones that we're using today. And while we're waiting for our water to boil, I'm gonna make the dressing. It's a Thai peanut dressing. It is delicious. One hint I have for you though, is whatever you do, make sure that you put the peanut butter in last or it sticks to the bottom. So we have a quarter cup of water and I have the juice of one lime. And if you like it really limey, you can also zest your lime. You can do that also. And then um, you want to make sure that you're using a quality peanut butter. I make my own peanut butter that literally is just peanuts. The recipe's on my blog. It's kind of simple. You can also use almond butter, but you don't want to use the real sugary, gross kind of peanut butter that's got a bunch of stuff in it. Um, and then I have a tablespoon of maple syrup. And I have two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. I have one tablespoon of rice vinegar and an inch of fresh ginger and a tiny little pinch of red pepper flakes. And then last but not least is that quarter cup of peanut butter. Now, in the blog post, they also you can use that PB, that peanut butter powder if you want also. You're just gonna use um, a little less water and the directions are in there. But you can do um, any type of almond butter, cashew butter, it really doesn't matter. I wanna make sure I get all that peanut butter in there. And, We're going to blend it. Okay. That is blended up nicely. It's really yummy. Okay. Um, these are almost boiling here. Now, the nice thing about these ramen noodles are they literally cook in four minutes. So what happens is we're going to put them into the boiling water and then you kind of want to move them around a little bit so they come out of this formed cake and they start to stretch out a little bit. And you really need to time it four minutes because you don't want it more than that. And then when they're done, we're going to rinse them in a colander in the sink with cold water to stop them from cooking. So they're boiling. So I'm going to pop them into the water and they sink right to the bottom. You know when they're done when it starts to float to the top when they spread apart. And we'll be back when they're done cooking. The ramen noodles are done. That's what they look like. I'm gonna transfer them to the sink and rinse them in cold water in a colander. Okay, the noodles are cold to the touch. I'm gonna add them to the bowl. And then we're gonna add all the goodies. I have two cups of red cabbage that's chopped or shredded, two cups of Napa cabbage, also chopped or shredded, one red bell pepper, 10 ounces of edamame, or they sell mame, which is already shelled edamame. I bought it in the freezer section, so you have to cook it first before you put it in the cell. This is 10 ounces. I have one cup of shredded carrots and 
I have two mandarin oranges. They're my favorite. And you can put more or less of any of this stuff in. There's no rules when it comes to how much, you know, if you like. But if you notice, there's way more veggies than there are noodles. And then I have five green onions that are cut up. And then I have peanuts and cilantro that we're going to use as a garnish. So we're going to toss all these things with the noodles. This is a quick and easy dinner. And the nice thing is it's cold. And when you put the dressing on it, um, you can dress it ahead of time because what happens is the noodles absorb the dressing so it doesn't get like soggy in the fridge or anything like that. So we're going to take the dressing and we're going to pour it all over the noodles. And this dressing, seriously, it's so good. You could like eat it with a spoon, drink, drink it, and we're going to toss. Again, you just want it lightly coated. You don't want too much dressing because then it does get icky. And this is my favorite. And then when you go to serve it, because this is just my mixing bowl, still have some of this cabbage over here. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it into a bowl. Oh. Seriously, I'm the messiest server. Let me get a paper towel. And then we put some cilantro on. If you don't like cilantro, try Thai basil and some peanuts on top. And you have an Asian ramen noodle salad. I hope you enjoy the recipe. We'll see you next time. Bye.